I, I want to distinguish uh, Bitcoin f from uh, the technology such as um, blockchain and those kinds of because when we talk about Bitcoin, one might be referring to either of those things, and I just want to create the distinction between those things. Maybe, uh, so, maybe talk about well, why don't why don't you? I think why don't you talk about both? Well, a cur uh, uh, okay, um, a currency, cryptocurrency. There are two th purposes of a currency: a medium of exchange, and a storehold of wealth. I can have a bond or and so on. Um, and then there's the question of which one. Is it Bitcoin, Ethereum? Is it going to be another technology question? Okay, so all of those things are on the table. Right now, it's, um, it's not an effective medium of exchange. You, you know, you, I get some Bitcoin, I want to go spend it Bitcoin. You can't use it as an effective medium of exchange other than in a very limited number of cases, which can also be threatened in terms of what the secrecy of those transactions are and things that are being done by governments to uh, get beyond that secrecy. So it's not an effective uh, medium of exchange as of now, and it's not an effective uh, storehold of wealth. And that's because the speculation on it is such, and the participant in it, um, is um, something that I would say is a classic bubble kind of situation. I Meaning if you look at the nature of the participant in it, and you say, what is the level of sophistication in their understanding the ability? Is, do we have a sophisticated investor who is then actually thinking in terms of expected value, terms of what, where that's going to be and so on? Or do we have an investor who is inclined to then flip it and trading in and out, and what's that component? You can, by the way, have a wonderful investment that's a long-term investment and still have a bubble in that investment. So, so I'm not saying this is a forever thing, but the nature of the participants in that investment and what they're doing has made it a bubble of, you know, a, what I, uh, doesn't mean it's a worthless investment. It just means that when you look at the characteristics of what constitutes a bubble, the purchase for resale by a naive group of people who are attracted because it's moving up, it has those bubble characteristics. Okay, and then um, and then so um, and then there's the question of what is the version of it. So if I take Bitcoin and then there's Ethereum and then there's the I don't know each one of those that might come and how will they operate? I would say that as distinct from the blockchain notion of the and the whole concept of cryptocurrency which has a lot of merit to it so um, but as a currency you can't have the volatility driven by speculation on it make it a storehold of wealth so it that's that's an its characteristics right now are standing in the way of its potential. It may be engineered differently to some extent there you know maybe if you created um, it a different engineer. I, if I was trying to make it effective as a currency, I would engineer how I do that differently. I won't digress into how I would engineer it to do it differently. So I think it has a, a lot of potential as um, as a as a concept and uh, blockchain. But at the same time, it has these issues I'm referring to.